Don't be shy. <laughs> Simply pets in Chesapeake. And they are noisy. <laughs> they're funny, but they're noisy when they get going. Is full of critters and creatures. Mommy, look at the bird. It's a parakeet. But tonight, the neighborhood store is missing four of its animals. It's like a little part, part of your heart's missing because these are our children. That's how owner Shannon Sieverts refers to all the pets in the store real, 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 real. as her children. I know I'm a lousy bird owner. I can't whistle. We spend a lot of time nurturing them. Sievert says last week, two customers walked in. It was a young lady with a backpack, approximately a high school student age, maybe a little bit older, and an older gentleman that was with her. Surveillance pictures show the woman and man stealing a baby bird like this one. And I believe he was actually on the middle stand. They also noticed three bearded dragons disappeared. Over the three bearded dragons he took were approximately this size. Sieverts believes they put the animals in a backpack before heading out. I don't want to think bad about people. Oh my gosh, he's so cute. Six years ago, Sieverts opened the store <laughs> with the hope of sharing her love for animals. Who would want to steal animals? <laughs> she also takes pride in letting people touch. You want to hold it? Keeping most of the birds out in the open, something she doesn't want to change. There you go. You want me to get him? <laughs> I want to still believe in people, but I am watching a little bit closer. Um, I don't want to see anything happen. I don't want to have to feel like I've got to put my, my babies behind a cage. Siebert says it's a shame all the way around. It's their baby. But most of all, she hopes the animals taken are okay. I hope that the, that the animals get returned safe and sound.